The Milwaukee Panthers knock off the UIC Flames 88 to 65. Matt Menzel being joined by the head coach of the Panthers, Kyle Recklitz. Great second quarter. It was a back and forth first, but once that second quarter got going, so did the Panthers, and all of a sudden able to put yourself in the driver's seat. Yeah, I thought our offense was really clicking tonight. Uh, it was nice to see us. We've been working a lot in practices on just making that extra pass, and it was really nice to see our team, you know, put that into action out on the court. Alexis Lindstrom, eight assists to one turnover in a game where people are pressuring her for the entire game. I mean, she was being pressured full court for the entire game, so to not turn it over and to get that many assists was incredible. I thought our offense was really great. Still have some things we need to work on the defensive side, um, but for the most part, we really locked in the scout. You talk about that assist category, a total of 20 assists off 32 field goal makes. And you mentioned Lindstrom, but it seemed like everybody getting in the end. Yeah, you know, I mean, you look down the line and everybody else had one, two, you know, three assists. Uh, and that just shows just unselfishness. You know, the, just that selfless play is something that we really pride ourselves on here. We have a bunch of scorers, and if the more we move the basketball and have to make their defense rotate, the better we are offensively. And speaking of everybody playing for at least the third consecutive game, all 12 active saw significant playing time. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think that that's kind of the fun of when you get into a game like this because you just never know who you're going to have to rely on as the season goes along. You know, Jordan had really moved her way up in the rotation, but Lizzie was great tonight. You know, watching her perform out on the court, hit some shots for us, but even defensively, she really came to play. I thought this was one of uh, Jay Two Bear's better games. Had some really nice passing assists, handled the pressure really well at the top, um, and really sat in a stance on defense. So to watch some of our freshmen kind of rise to the occasion um, and some of our upperclassmen leading them along the way was really good. I also thought this was a great game for Akela Hayes. Um, she played balance, um, really gave us a nice look off the bench. We got to get her to finish a little bit more in the paint, but she really had some really nice attacks at the basket. How high can Hayes jump? I know, right? Out of the we're, gym? We're trying to run a dunk play for her uh, <laughs> down the stretch, but she couldn't get off the back screen early enough. Uh, yeah, she really can't. She's got great hops, and she uses them to the, I mean, she gets into the rebound. She really gets in the mix with that, and that's, that's what we need. Besides the fact all 12 players played, nine scored, four in double figures, led by the 19.4 Sierra Ford Washington, she was the tone setter. Oh, absolutely. She was incredibly aggressive in the first half. Um, I thought her, uh, Steph, and Jenny Lindner really were aggressive around the basket, um, and that's what we've been working on in practice this week, too, is, is not losing our positioning, going towards the rim, um, and then keeping our balance, having that physical toughness. Uh, you know, we have a great strength coach. Uh, Matt has put us through the works, and so it's time to use, show that on the court. Um, with that balance of that physical play. And I thought we stayed really balanced tonight, and that's why we got to love those finishes around the basket. You mentioned a one-point rebounding, winning that battle 45-32, to 32, and that's a, that's a great win because UIC is not a bad rebounding team. Oh, in fact, they're 15th in the nation when it comes to offensive rebounding. That was a huge key to the game, and I was so proud of our team. I can't wait to go back and watch the film because there were so many times that we were clearing them out of the paint. It was almost like a ball drop rebounding drill, you know, letting the ball drop. And um, that takes a lot of heart to do that for 40 minutes um, and a lot of toughness. And Jenny Linder was great at it. It was good to see her hit the boards like that, uh, Stephanie Kostowitz. The two of them really played played well off the rebounding battle together. But even Bailey Farley, I noticed she was getting in the mix quite a bit on the box out situation. She wasn't getting as many, but she was holding them off so that other people could get them. All right, so the Panthers, they passed their first conference road test. Mm -hmm. Up next, a quick turnaround. Quickly, your thoughts. Val Prezo, 130 coming up on Saturday. It's going to be a tough game. You know, they can really shoot the ball from the outside. I have a lot of respect for their head coach, Tracy Doro. I think um, I think she's going to have their team playing really well. So we got to bring our A game. All right, Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you.